Okay, so I'm going to explain about the Remix matrix system. Um, well, the system is about upgrading your previous skills, including your from your first, second, third, and fourth job. And um, it's an okay system. It powers up your other stuff <laughs> by increasing its damage by like 10%, say 8%. Um, so this is it. When you open one of the V cores, you should let me buy one to show you guys. Give me a sec. I should have enough money to buy one here. So its price decreased a lot too. So okay. <clears throat> so when you get a core, you open it, and you get a skill. This one's a really bad one, but whatever. And your cores cons cons uh, could consist of three skills in one core. Or like in this case... Hold on. Oh, what the heck. <laughs> like in this case, you only got two skills instead of three. So of course you want to get ones with three, but... Um, anyways, you know, you unlock more cores as you level up. Say every six levels you get a slot. So 206 you get an additional slot. 212 you get another. 218 you get another. That's how it works. And once you get these skills, you equip it to increase that skill level. And the hard thing about this is um, sometimes you get bad skills along with it, like you get punching cannon or cannon sp splasher. And of course, it's going to be useless. You want to get skills that you use, like Cannon Bazooka and Cannon Buster, because you know those are my primaries. That those are like the only two skills I use, other than some of my buff skills. But these buff skills only increase the damage, not the actual buff. So it's kind of pointless. And in the v v Matrix, there are passives that you can get. You can get Sharp Eyes and combat orders so I'm trying to get wind booster but you know the game isn't nice enough to give me wind booster anyways you level you can level these skills um, so you come to this NPC right here V core master and you can upgrade the cores that you currently have as you can see, some of mine are level 3, 2, the ones I actually use. Although my cores are really bad. Oh! Okay. Sure. So, so I just fed it EXP. Okay, it doesn't really level you up instantly. It gives you EXP on that core. So you need two level 1s to level... level uh, 1 level 1 to 2. It's kind of confusing, but whatever. <laughs> and so... How does it upgrade? Like, say for example, this skill, this core right here is called Sound and Rockets Rolling Rainbow, uh, Rolling Cannon Rainbow. So you need another skill that has Rolling Cannon Rainbow at the end to upgrade that skill. So I don't have it. That is why I can't. Like, say for example, right here, this is Nautilus Charging Cannon Bazooka. This is Roulette Sounds Cannon Bazooka. This is Explosion Nautilus Cannon Bazooka. So this is how it works. Um, I kind of don't like that, to be honest. <laughs> I really don't. But whatever. Monkey Rush Boom, Monkey Twins. So now... Hold on. So basically, they have mastery levels on these cores too. Because, I mean, it's kind of unfair if you have like 10 cannon bazooka cores to increase your cannon bazooka to extreme levels 
you can't do that. There's mastery levels. Like say for example, right now I'm getting a lot into Ken and Bazooka, so I can um, one shot things. As you can see, it has a master level of 40. Okay, and at level 20, it increases the amount of monsters that I can hit. It increases my mo uh, mobbing capabilities by one more. And at level 40, I gain 20% armor penetration or ignore armor. So it's really good, especially if you can get it on Cannon Buster. It's really good, but getting it to level 40 is kind of hard. You need to farm and farm and farm. And one more thing I want to talk about is the new equipment called Arcane Equipment. And you get these things called Arcane Symbols. So they act like Star Force in the new maps, where you need to have a certain amount for you to do good damage or even more damage. Like right here. Look how much damage I deal to them uh, with Buckshot. There we go, you saw. Yep, that's a lot of damage, right? <laughs> but if I go to an area where I don't where I don't have have enough arcane force, let me show you. It deals like half the damage. It's really bad. So right here, I'm doing like half the damage I'm doing to the other guys over at that map. And I can't one shot these. Oh, I can! Ooh! Okay. <laughs> okay, that's something new. Okay. I'm cool with that. See right there, he survived. I can't have that. <laughs> I can't have that. So until I can one shot these guys, I'm coming back here later. So so how do you increase this? You use other arcane symbols. You just double click it and it automatically upgrades what you have equipped. Because you can only have one type of arcane symbol. So I can't have like level ones like all over in all three slots. And I'm pretty sure new arcane symbols are gonna be released with different stats, but right now it's unannounced, so we're waiting for that. Well, anyways, um, that's kind of everything, and you know, of course, I have spot save for this skill, the best skill ever. <laughs> yes, that's it for today, I guess. Just explaining the system. I know you guys can't wait for the update. I know I couldn't when I was waiting for it here in K in KMS. So ooh nice. Well there we go. Th that's the end. And I can do an equipment video. Right now my range is at one point two mil almost one point three. Actually let me, let me turn off this buff. What the heck? Uh yes, yeah, so self buff I'm at one point two mil and um, I'm gonna get it higher, you just wait so that will be it for today guys and I can do an equipment video but a lot of the equipments here in KMS and GMS or wherever you are is really different, like we don't have Gullux, we don't have many things that you guys have but mostly you guys have what we have so it's kinda unfair but whatever Whatever. So that'll be it. Bye.